Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm your average gamer, back in SnowRunner today for episode 26 of my season 11 endeavours. I'd just like to say before we start, if you could uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and uh, click the bell icon so you never miss an episode, that would be tremendously helpful for me. As we uh, enter the very last stages of uh, contract work in season 11. Now, at the end of the last episode, you may have uh, may have seen that uh, we got halfway through the Man in Majesty uh, contract and collected these two uh, garbage containers on the back of this very impressive Western Star. And now we're going to head back down the mountain and then through the gateway and deliver them. That's the plan anyway. So let's put four-wheel drive on. Let's start her up. How are we doing for fuel? Yep. Plenty of fuel to get back to uh, where my GMC truck is parked, where I can fill up at the Man in Movie Set. I'm very glad, I must say, that, that uh, this trailer was able to take the cargo. As I said in the last episode, a lot of modded trailers can be uh, can be a bit specific about what cargo they can carry. So, yeah, we, we were okay on this occasion. So, I remember this being quite a soft bit of mud here. If I stay to the left here, it's a little less soft. There, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this truck has been superb. As I say, despite not having a diff lock, it really hasn't certainly on this task but never really when I've been using it has it needed the uh, needed the diff lock hang on a second have I just gone the wrong way no I haven't yeah, that's what confused me I built that cabin, didn't I? When I came up here originally, that cabin wasn't there, but I had to build it. Sorry, that really threw me out. So, but yes, yeah, so this truck has proved absolutely superb so far. Is this the right way? Yes, it is, yeah. Honestly, I get so confused. over the rocks it's right here remember this steep bit yeah there's the uh, there's the valley down there with the uh, the icy section in there Bit of a bit of a revelation this truck. I haven't even needed to use the um, the dead axles to drop them down. It's it does I find when you do drop them it does raise the rear up a little, which means you do lose a little bit of the already quite limited suspension travel on this truck so I tend to avoid using them as I say if you're using it with a crane like I have on tricky terrain as in not flat and you need a little bit more stability they're good for just dropping down and then lifting up again but uh, but yeah I haven't um, I haven't felt the need to use them So I want to stay left here. Steady Dave. Steady Dave. There we go. Switch to this side. Right, got the 
long right hander here. It's not quite a racetrack, it's not for Sir Dave. Won't win any races in this. Big rock there, but this trailer's got good suspension on it, so it's not greatly affected by the rocks. Steep climb, but again, doesn't need low gear. I say, when I've used way back in the day, before the mod that I've got installed was available, I I really liked the Royal BM17 as a truck. Let me just refuel quickly. Where is it? Refuel, there it is. Um, there we go, thank you very much. Let's carry on. Yeah, I really like the Royal BM17. It seemed pretty capable, even though it didn't have a diff lock available. I mean, that was on the uh, in Michigan and uh, Alaska, where there was some tough terrain, but not like you've seen in some of the other DLCs following that. But, uh, but yeah, I may dig that. Now, having used this, I may dig that out and, and not use the modded diff lock function and just to see just to see how it copes on reasonably tough terrain I doubt it will be as good as this though so just got to go around here well past the movie set. Okay for fuel. Actually it's not a problem with fuel now because once I get back down to the uh, to the main road and then it it'll be tarmac all the way to the uh, to the gateway and there's the fuel station before the gateway and then it's just straight along the road to deliver these two to the recycling plant. Sorry folks, I'm swinging the camera around, just trying to get the best angles. Will it get stuck here? Not a bit of it. Even the Mac Defence nearly got stuck there. It was towing an enormous semi-trailer though, I'll let it off. Looking forward to getting back in the Mac Defence again. Ready for delivering those cable cars, which will be up this same route, but uh, as I say, not really a lot that I could do about that, unfortunately, folks. It's a bit like the end of season 10. The last few contracts I did were all driving up exactly the same piece of terrain. Which couldn't be avoided. Which was repetitive and also mind-bogglingly terrifying because it was a hideous piece of terrain. I've gone the wrong way again I think, have I? I've gone the way that I came down with the uh, movie star trailer. But that's okay, I'll get to the main road eventually. It's good, to change as good as the rest. Through the snow. Oh yeah, got a bit of a puddle. Again, it's not even slowing down through this terrain. Well, maybe a little bit there, but hardly at all. See, not even changing. I'm not going to change down. I'm just going to see if it can force its way through in low gear. Easily. Very muddy wheels now, but uh, easily made it through. And 
here we are, the main road. So, we're going to uh, full auto. Just for that little bit of extra traction as I'm carrying heavy load and towing heavy load, I'll leave the all-wheel drive on for the time being. Fuel is no longer an issue, so... Let's get this to the gateway. Still looks beautiful every time you see it, this, uh, this region. That's one of the things, one of the many things that have impressed me about this region is just how beautiful and atmospheric it is and it looks. Thinking, oh, it's just got me reminiscent of going back and building that bridge how long it took me to uh, clear blockages and find the uh, generator, bring that down and then get the uh, design and steelworks up and running and get the stuff to build that bridge. Happy memories folks, happy memories. It's been a pleasure playing this and sharing it all with you as well folks. Nearly forgot. Bounce up through there. Back into full auto. Here's a shorter route to go to the other gateway, but then it's a longer route on the other side, and it's all going to be tarmac. So let's stick with this. Pretty sure footed on road as well. This truck. We've got the uh, big snow patch coming up. gear just to get through this bit bump over the rocks will it go over those rocks yeah it's not got the greatest ground clearance in the world this truck but uh, it can't be brilliant at everything round we go It's with four wheel drive on it is similarly thirsty to the uh, to the Mac Defence. I think that is thirstier than it actually feels the Mac Defence because it has got a 350 litre fuel tank, so it tends to last quite a while. Even if it does chug through the petrol a little quicker than you might be comfortable with. going to be doing some chugging up the mountain shortly. These beautiful cable cars, can't wait to see what they look like on the truck. Not far now I don't think. To the fuel station and then the gateway. Yeah, symbol for the gateways appeared. Just round this bend. It's a lot less hectic than travelling through that swamp. Not that I didn't enjoy it plugging through the swamp but, uh, time is money as they say right 
Let's give her a drink for all her hard work. There we go. Let's get through that gateway, get this contract done. Penultimate contract. By the lake, yes, please. A quick vape as we head through the tunnel. Right, here we go. Let's put four wheel drive on again. straight down this road there we go through the flooded section yeah just by this big rock here that's where I parked that uh, off road off-road fuel carrier trailer which I uh, hardly used now long since sold Yes, I remember to slow down a bit for that wall, huge rock. Watch out, trailer. It's okay. It's one of the movie sets. Aha, there's the icon. Very, very sure-footed on-road, this truck. Surprising, given how capable the tyres are off-road. Whoa, there. Whoa. Where's that sign gone? That's going to land on the other map. Sorry about that, folks. Some careless driving there. Nearly lost a load. That would have been interesting. Although not disastrous, as I've... Got, obviously got the crane on board. Need a bit further. And then it will be one contract left. Here we go, folks. In we go. I thought it was in the same spot as last time, but uh, it's not, but that's okay. And there we go. Switch off. Cargo management. One garbage. Two garbage. Way to go. We'll recycle that junk using the latest methods. The local and the tourists will be thrilled. They certainly will be. As thrilled as I am with just over 30 grand. Happy days. Right, I can uh, think about taking this back off camera, selling the trailer and so on. But we have all of those done, all of those done. And just this one left. Deliver to the upper ski station, Mountain Ridge. Four cable cars. So, we need to get into the Mac the Mac defense. Now did I fill up with petrol? Yes I did. Right, let's have a look at what these cable cars are like. 
on the truck. Let's swing around so we can see. How about that? Cargo management. Cable car. Oh yes. Oh, there's only five left in there. I better be careful with these. Right. So let's head up. We'll go through the northern gateway on this map. Go successfully negotiate the turn. Are they? They're flashing, aren't they? Those cable cars. Or was that me? Yeah, look. Interesting. Whoa there. Curvature in the road. These must be quite heavy. Both were factors there. Nearly lost the load. Thank goodness for this trailer. how far down here the gateway is oh is it just here yes it is yeah, they're quite snazzy aren't they those cable cars surely we'll get a cut scene of them going up and then uh, then moving up and down on the uh, on the ski run travel to mountain ridge so Another vaping opportunity. Right. I remember I've come through a different gateway this time. Oops. In low gear. There we go. Right, so I've just got to negotiate this potentially tricky right hand turn. There we go, trailers round successfully. So, I shall head up the usual way via the Irish Oak sign. So I've still got a bit of on-road driving to go. This is not particularly rapid on-road, so it's not too hectic. Just avoid the camera collisions going over the bridge. There we go. Oh, nearly. Right, high gear through this bit. We've got to be careful. And we're through. That doesn't look like I'll be needing my uh, my ANKs with their fuel tanks for building any more materials, so I can uh, take those back to the uh, or take the trailers back and sell them, and then recover the trucks and probably sell them. I can't believe we've done so much on this uh, on this region. 
little bit of everything we've had to do. How are we doing for fuel? Still got plenty. Through the town again. Yeah, I think what I may do, folks, is as the uh, as the journey that I'm taking in this Mac Defence is going to be identical to the one I'm going to have to take in my solo Tager with a cable car, I will probably use the power of editing to uh, to get up there to complete the contract once I've. Uh, Once I've delivered these, I'll do the others. Oops, wrong button. Off camera, I'll, deli I'll drive the. T Sorry, I'm talking nonsense. Let me start again. Once I've delivered these, I will. Um, I will drive the Tiger up the same route that I've done, but I'll do that off camera, and then you'll join me up at the top, ready to uh, complete the contract. I think that would be. Uh, that will save an awful lot of time. Come on, truck. What's it stuck on? Oh, there's a big rock there. Come on, trailer, over you go. There we go. Stop and let that trailer drop back on its wheels again. It's making me paranoid every time it does that. Although, as I say, it's got extraordinary tip angle before it does relinquish its load. So, maybe I'm worrying over nothing, but I can't help it. After all these years of being an average gamer playing this particular game. this side. Come on truck. You can do it. There we go. Oh, little skip there. And we're through that bit. Actually, I've just had a really terrifying thought. Let me just stop there for a second. Where exactly is it that I need to deliver these? Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. It is very similar to where I had to pick up the garbage from. Okay, so I just had terrible visions I was going to be going in the wrong direction. Mm, wouldn't be the first time. So we start the climb proper. So much traction from the 8x8 chassis. Super. Yep, we haven't lost any cable cars yet. My one concern really is the, the height of these cable cars, as in tipping the truck. That's, but it's very stable, this truck, so uh, shouldn't be a problem. Oop, through the trees. Yeah, 
I was thinking actually after what I said recently um, regarding this Mac Defense being the best of any of the trucks in any of the three seasons so far in the year three pass I was trying to think what would be my next best truck and that's a tricky one I've not really used the Zix from season nine that much I did use it briefly to do some very minor tasks on season nine when I was playing that off camera so I might have to dig that out and have another go in at, at some point maybe we'll do that on season 12 when that arrives I'll make a note of that to do that I suppose it would probably be I was a disappointed in the Neo Falcon and a little bit less disappointed but still disappointed in the Burlac from both the trucks from season 11 what was the other truck oh yeah it was the um, it was that other big truck I've already forgotten its name again the Kenworth from uh, from season 10 A bit more fuel. Yeah, the Kenworth from season 10. That was pretty disappointing. Again, I, I want to use that a, a little bit more. Perhaps on some less hilly terrain, just to see how it um, how it performs. Steady, steady. It's making me paranoid the way that trailer's flailing around. Come on, truck, just get through this bit. Ooh, more rocks. made it through there sorry folks I'll get back to my conversation shortly this is a tricky little bit there we go let's get on to the ice flow there we are we've still not lost any cable cars that's good news so yeah, so I think I think in second place from season eleven, sorry, from the year three pass so far would be the Derry Special. Although it's not the fastest vehicle in the world, it was very very capable off road where I used it. So if you can put up with the lack of speed of that particular truck, its capability will shine through but then, then in third place oh, that's really a toss up for that folks it, I'd say it's as I say not much experience with the Zix but maybe that or perhaps the Burlac That will need further investigation, I think. I may well do a review video of that once once I've finished Season 11 and before Season 10 arrives. Uh, sorry, before Season 12 arrives. Let's put that in low gear and use some diff lock. There you go. Bit of diff lock for the first time for ages. trailer a little bit more scope for getting through that past those rocks yeah it was mentioned in one of the videos I watched that uh, season 12 may be the toughest of the regions which means if it's tougher than season 10 
that could be that could be interesting but uh, we shall see I am looking forward to uh, to a brand new season not that I'm uh, in a rush to leave Scandinavia it's been wonderful playing on this map well the, sorry on this region and on these maps just going to get through the trees and swing out with the camera there we go Right, so we're nearly there. With the uh, three quarters of the cable cars. A little bit further. What a fantastic truck this is. This, I'm sure, I can say with certainty this will be featuring heavily in Season 12, in my Season 12 gameplay. Most definitely. And it won't be long after that until the, uh, the, the new scouting base game will be arriving. I'm, I'm still, I'm in an hour in about, about buying that game straight out of the box got a few months before at least a couple of months before that will be arriving so, but uh, certainly does look intriguing from the uh, demo video that I've seen of it or sorry the trailer video that I've seen of it climbing up sheer cliff faces by putting your winch things out it's, it looks very interesting very interesting indeed. Oh, clip that sign. Don't hit the lamppost trailer. There we go. So, let's just move that like that. One cable car, two cable cars, three cable cars. Right, so let me just... There's a bit of diff lock. Just want to move this out of the way. Ready for the arrival of the Tiger. That'll do you. Well done, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mac Defense. Another superb performance. One cable car left to deliver. So, let me jump into the Tiger. Again, I should take the Mac Defense back in my own time off camera so here we are in the Tega one cable car in the truck yeah so now I shall proceed to drive the same route that I just took with the Mac Defence and you will join me again up at the top of the mountain hopefully after a uh, uneventful journey he says tongue in cheek because you never know and, uh, and yeah so I will uh, I'll just say uh, I will see you up on the top of the mountain at some point, hopefully very soon. And so folks, here we are. We have made it up the mountain with the last cable car. Now this journey was rather more traumatic than it was in the Mac Defence for a number of reasons. Obviously the big turning circle of this Tiger 
was an issue plus it's very long and quite narrow and with such a tall cargo much taller than most that I've had to carry in this it did tip quite precariously on a number of occasions a few heart stopping moments but uh, we made it and so we reach the last delivery of the last contract in season 11 what a journey it's been here we go last cable car delivered yes look at that oh let me have a go happy days ski resort built great thanks a lot for your help this would have been a lot harder without you yeah it certainly would 56 and a half grand just under happy days so there we are folks we have completed all of the contracts in season 11 happy days what an enjoyable experience that has been right, what is this contest this will be what I'll be doing in the next episode I think welcome to our humble abode it's our tradition to host annual springtime races for the local fishermen the flood oh excuse me the flood washed out the roads this year oh dear pardon me but that's what makes it even more fun want to join us first checkpoint then a checkpoint fourth checkpoint fifth checkpoint seventh eighth ninth tenth finish line all right so it's a sort of a circuit it says scout is recommended what shall i use for that how long do you get five minutes to do that i may i may do that in my uh, in my load star I think maybe in my lodestar right let's recover this back to the garage well done Tager superb it's been that's Voron's been superb that's, that other Tager's been superb the Voron grad and also of course my fantastic Mac defense which I shall now drive back down to the garage and have a rest I think so there we go folks season 11 tasks and contracts all complete happy days so uh, so yeah I shall be calling it a day there then folks so I hope you've enjoyed that and indeed this uh, although it's not quite over yet but the majority of this series um, if you could hit the like button and subscribe that would be tremendously helpful for me and uh, Click the uh, click the little bell icon as well, so you never miss an episode. Still got a few things to do. Still got, I to, I, as I say, I wasn't going to do those contests, but they're intriguing me. It's been a while since I've done one, so uh, and we've got three of them to do. So we'll do them next episode. So, uh, so yeah, feel free to comment as well, folks. It's, uh, tell me what you think about season eleven. If you've been playing it, or if you've just been watching and. Uh, what you think of what you've seen it's uh, certainly uh, been very picturesque if nothing else so uh, so yeah so i'll just say uh, thank you very much again for watching and uh, i will see you all on the next one cheerio